Hey everyone, it's Greg from Stationary Shenanigans. I hope you all have had a good weekend. Let me know what you've been up to. I'd love to hear about it. Today is Monday, June 20th. I actually have off from work for the Juneteenth holiday and it's a beautiful day out. My niece is staying with me for the week, so we've just been out and about going to all different places and just having fun. We did do a, two minor stationary hauls when we were out and about because of course that's what we would do on our day off. <laughs> Uh, so the first one I, I want to talk about is from Miniso, which is kind of like a Daiso. Um, they market themselves in the U.S. as a $10 and below store. It's kind of like a hip Japanese five below store. Most of the stuff's like knockoffs or just cheaper things like made in China, not necessarily like the good Japanese quality, but it's part of the fun. So they had... Uh, rotate they have like a rotating thing with different items like it'll be like Marvel will be the big thing one summer and the next summer will be like a different cartoon or whatever so we had walked by and we saw these things on display whatever these characters are and we decided to get these blind boxes which has there's a bunch of different ones you choose it's kind of I guess it's kind of like a grab bag you don't know what you're getting it has a gel pen, a washi tape, and a sticky note. So there's three items in the box. So we decided to get this one with like the cat bubble tea, and then this bear one with avocado, and then we're gonna open them up and see inside. And we decided to get different ones. <laughs> that way we can trade the items that we want from each other. So I thought that was like a fun thing to do uh, later tonight. We'll open these up and kind of see what the mystery is. Don't know if it'll be anything really mysterious, but hey, I'm I'm all for it. So that was a fun thing. I also got, because I've seen a lot of you use them for cutting washi tape and things for your travel journal. I got one of these like craft knives, like an X-Acto knife kind of thing. And where the, where the blade gets dull, you just rip it off and go to the new blade. So I just wanted to try one of those. It has that bubble tea <laughs> character on there. Let me know if you know what if this is referencing a certain show or anime or something, I don't know, but we liked it. So picked up one of those. Um, actually, I'm going to stop saying picked up. I'm going to try to stop saying picked up because there's, there was a stationary vlogger for the past few years that I've followed. She had deleted all her videos. I want to say last year and she would film a lot of hauls and she would always say picked up, picked up. I don't know why it just irked me. I don't know if it's like a regional thing where, where she was from, they would, they would say picked up, which meant to buy, and I guess I grew up never saying pick up, so I want to say buy, so <laughs> let me try to correct myself there. And then the last thing, no, not the last thing, um, I bought these gold gel pens from, are they gel pens? Yeah, gel pens from Miniso, and they're, they say they're 0.28. The reason why I got these is because they kind of are reminiscent of Lamy's with like a, car, like a cartridge view so I figure let's just open these up and try to write with one just to do a little test um and they were very inexpensive I want to say this two pack was $2.95 something like that so let's see if I can zoom in a little bit is it so it has that kind of like cartridge window it definitely looks like a thin mommy right like um and it says Okay, it says on the clip, stylishy, which I didn't know that till now, and I love that. It's hilarious. And it's just, yeah, it kind of looks like a Coletto tip. So I'm just going to take one of these Lamy notebooks, which I think I got a three-pack, and I actually really like them. Um, and just do a little, let's do a little writing, so... Yeah, so it's basically, it's basically just how you would think. It's basically like a 2.8 Coletto. It's like a Coletto Lamy combo. And it's actually pretty sturdy, thick plastic. I'm, I'm actually, I'm surprised by this, so. And then maybe I'll play around and see what the ink on the inside looks like. So, yeah. You could probably play around with refills if I wanted to change it up with the color, so. And the 
um, the bottom here near the nib, I don't know what this is called. It's actually heavy metal, so I'm surprised by that. It's not, it's not all little plastic, so that was a fun surprise. And the last thing I got from Miniso was this bag. Well, let me zoom out. Come on, Greg. Um, this bag, it's made of canvas. I don't know why it was just calling my name. I like the stripes, it kind of makes me think of Sephora, but it's actually really sturdy. And when you open it up, I just like the size of it. It has these like inner pockets. And I thought it'd be the perfect size to make like a stationary bag when I'm on the go because a traveler's notebook, it's the width of a traveler's notebook, like absolutely perfect. And the height of a traveler's notebook. So I'm very pleased with that and it has a button so I'm thinking when I go to coffee shops and I'm doing work and I, and I want to actually bring some stationary stuff to have fun with, I could basically fill, it, fill this up, carry it with those little handles, and then if I need to go somewhere else or I don't have time to do it anymore and I want to put it back in the trunk of my car or I'm walking back to my apartment to drop it off, it just makes things convenient. So I thought that would be fun to try. So yeah, those are the things I got from Miniso. The last place we went to was an actual stationery store in this area. I'm hesitant to say the name of it, but I think I'm just going to do it because my review of their actual customer service is, is not going to be good. But this is Penny Post in Alexandria, Virginia, and it's fairly local, and it's a good place to go in store because they have a wonderfully curated collection. They have all kinds of Japanese stationery. They even have some... I saw a Danish notebook company. I saw... There's some German things, like just the store itself is beautiful. It looks like something out of a magazine. They do a good job of their actual product lines. Customer service, every time I'm in there, I swear they're rude. They're not interested in helping you. They don't even say hi to you when you go up to the register. It's one of those small business, locally owned shops where you'd think you would get that good experience, but every time I've been in there, which is probably five or six times since they've opened in the past, year or two, I just felt like they're very not friendly and welcoming. So when we went in there, before we walked in the store, I just asked my niece to let me know what she thought of the vibes. And she concurred with me that they were they were okay, but they were not friendly at all. We expected maybe a little bit more. Maybe I'm spoiled by Goulet Pens and Tokyo Pen Shop and all those places online where you really do get like that experience if you have a question about an item or whatever. But I feel like I've spent a lot of money at this place and they're just not, I don't know, they're, they're, they're just grouchy. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. So let's talk about a few of the items that we bought there today. The first thing is because I, I just talked about my other video with the, uh, we bought the Prismacolor Magic Rub for my colored pencil issue, is that they had this seed, is it called Seed Company? which is, you know, a big name in Japanese erasers. They have this four colored pencils square eraser in this nice floral packaging. So I decided to try that too. And maybe we'll do a t uh, comparison between the Prismacolor and this because I'm enjoying colored pencils in my traveler's notebook. Didn't think I'd enjoy it the way I have been. Next thing, my niece picked out a mild liner. I want to say it's violet. I don't know if it says it on here, but it's a nice mild violet. And I got a Le Pen. It's kind of like this golden rod yellow. Something about the golden um, reached out to me. I haven't even tried it yet, but uh, yeah, just wanted to get that. Then I've seen these at like Target and other online retailers, the Zebra Click Art, which I guess is kind of like a marker pen, uh, but they're always in a, a pack of like they're a multi-pack and, and they were kind of pricey I think they're usually like 15 16 dollars and I didn't want to invest in that so I decided just to buy one so let's just test it out while we're here I think it's like a yeah it's like a marker tip can you see that um, and we chose lime green I wasn't gonna get lime green I was gonna get something like just black or blue just to try out but my niece is like go for lime green I like the color green and Ever since I got this, uh, the watercolor palette from Traveler's Company, I've just been back into lime green. So let's test it out. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh. 
it's actually smoother than I thought it would be. And it doesn't, I thought it was gonna write like a marker that kind of bleeds a little bit, but it's almost like just like a nice ink. That's surprising. So this is the Zebra Click Art. And then you just click it, so that's it. Let me know if you've used these Zebra Click Arts because that is not how I thought it was gonna come out. You know those like flare pens that we had in the 90s or those other ones that you see like the paper mate? I feel like sometimes they used to bleed through or actually look like markers, but this just looks like smooth ink. So surprised by that. And since we're here, let's test out this lay pen. I couldn't tell you what the actual color name is because, oh, I'm sorry, I should look before I talk. Mustard. So, yeah, I'm loving that. That's really nice. Is it gonna focus? Sorry. And I don't think my niece will mind if we just do a quick mild liner swatch. Just do some lines. I feel like mild liners are pretty standard. You've all probably used them because they're usually wonderful. And yeah, that is a nice uh, pastel-y purple. So those are the writing utensils I bought at Penny Post. I also bought this editor series from Stology. Everyone else says Stology, right? I, used to, I think I used to say Stology, but I think it's Stology. And I got this because, first of all, I like the blue color, but I liked how it is basically a sticky note. So you write in the notebook, this little notepad, and then you pull it off and it works like a sticky note. And it was $9.50 which I feel like Stology products are usually the same price everywhere at all these like small businesses. And let's go ahead and open it since we're doing this together. The reason, why, oh, I, was, I started talking about it and finished. The reason why I like this is because I, for work tasks I have at my job, I always have a million different things going on at once. And what I like to do is I like to write it on a post-it note and put it above my desk. And when it's done, I like to tear it off and throw it out. It has this oddly satisfying <laughs> Experience and any reason that I can use stationery at my job, um, I like finding ways to use it. So it is kind of nice. It looks like one of those old-fashioned things you see used to see at copy copy shops, where you like tear it away. It's really nice paper. I'm sure it's fountain pen friendly. And yeah, the top part is sticky, so it's kind of like a notepad. And I do like the shape of it. It's not a square, right? It's more of a rectangle, so you can write your different tasks, put it up on a post-it note or use this to put in your planner. Maybe we could do something where we do little sketches and then insert it into our traveler's notebook for the spread. That would be interesting. So yeah, let me know if you use any of this Stology editor series memo pad. Other than that, and then I got two more Kitas because I like some of the other Kitas that I used last time. This is just a kind of notebook papery one. I thought that would be good for planning, especially if I'm gonna try to use that found Hobonichi weeks from my infamous story with finding a Hobonichi traveler's notebook. And then I have a thing for birds. And I just really like this cream colored with black sketching birds. There's like an owl and seagull and something and two cans. And I just thought that was cool. And then I'm wondering if also if I could color it in with marker, color pencil or paint. That can be something we can try in one of my journal with me. And I bought a uh, Midori notebook cover because I had bought this size in my trip to the Paper Seahorse in Tampa, Florida. It's just kind of like PV plastic. It was only four dollars. I figured since I was there and I saw it, it was the only one they had, I'm gonna get it instead of trying to buy it online. So I bought that. And last but not least, they do have an extensive Traveler's Company section shelf but i would honestly i would not give all my money like if i'm gonna buy a traveler's notebook item which you know are all are, can be pricey i'm gonna buy it either directly from traveler's company so i get like the benefit of going through them or from another retailer that's actually nice to me i don't want to give them i don't want to give this store more money than i kind of have to let me know if that makes sense to anyone because i don't know like i'd rather spend money at tokyo pen shop or yoseka or one of those other like goulet or something knowing that the money's going towards a place that actually has good customer service. So they just had a the free um, like advertisement 
and I just figured I'd get one to kind of look, see if anything's different. I don't know if I've had this one before. This little pamphlet, again, nice to have as part of your collection or to cut up and use in your traveler's notebook. About the breast products, the spiral ring notebooks, which I'm starting to use. So it was nice to have this out because some people don't know what traveler's notebooks are when they walk into these brick and mortar stores, right? So figured they'd get that. Oh, there's a lot of choices, aren't there? So yeah, so those are my little weekend fun hauls from Miniso and Penny Post in Alexandria, Virginia. Don't let my perspective of Penny Post influence you really. If you're in the area and you want to go to a brick and mortar stationery shop, I highly recommend it. It's definitely a few steps up from like the paper source or going to a Michaels or places like that where you can get decent stationery supplies. This is more for people who are actually into stationery. They have a fountain pen section, they have sailor products, all that. So it's, it's worth it if you can, but I don't know. If you do go, let me know if they're grouchy to you like they're grouchy to me every time I go there. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching these hauls and listen to me babble. I hope whatever you're doing, you enjoy your weekend and that you all have a good week coming up. So take care.